where are we flying to today? So we're going to just do a circuit around Winnipeg and then land again. Okay. okay. That's Horst Federal. He's a pilot who's earned his wings by staying on the ground. The flaps is out. I'm going to adjust my altitude. Federal imagined flying a plane his whole life, but he wasn't able to go down that career path. He grew up in Paraguay and getting the training was too expensive. So he took a different route to fulfill his dreams of being airborne. He started constructing his own flight simulators. He's made more than 10 so far. Three of them are used for training. One day I, I visited a local flight school and I noticed that what they were using were stuff is stuff that I was using as well. And I figured, well, if they can do it, then I can do it. Uh, so I started building them with the same software and everything that they use for actual training. His latest is a twin turboprop aircraft that would typically carry about seven passengers. That simulator is used by 10 commercial pilots each week who can prepare for real life emergency situations minus the risk. We took a real airplane uh, and then we took everything apart and, and out that we didn't need. So when you're sitting inside that, this cockpit, it is a real cockpit. It's not like an emulation of any kind. Being in the cockpit is a tad overwhelming. There is an abundance of dials, buttons and screens, including one showing a satellite map of the plane's location. You see the airplane is now, it's following this, this magenta line here. I, I feel that that sense in my stomach yeah. when you're landing a, in a plane. Yes, it's, it's because the motion flat platform is doing those, those uh, making your body think that the buildings and the trees are computer generated but the layout for where rivers are, where, where roads are, and, and the location of, of everything is satellite generated. The simulator helps pilots maintain their muscle memory for emergency situations like when small orange lights at the top of the controls suddenly start flashing. These uh, went on. Uh, this tells me that there is a fire. Gears out, flaps are out. I let it uh, die down a bit on the speed before I touch ground so that it is slower. <laughs> oh yeah, now we're on the grass. Soon it was my turn to slide into the pilot seat and I learned it's something that takes a lot of practice. So we're moving now. So put your hand on here and bring it forward. What is this doing? giving uh, the keep going oh we're moving oh my goodness yeah keep going okay there so i want you to go back to winnipeg now the flight was exhilarating i could see the sun setting outside and the airport runway ahead on the ground once we're getting closer like this we're just going to pull on it okay. gently i reduce the throttle even more and just let the plane Go down by itself. It was also nerve wracking because landing involved very gentle steering. I ended up next to the runway rather than actually on it. I'm, I'm using my. Hey, I'm... Yeah, you're steering with your hands, which okay. is natural. See, we're on the grass, so yeah. the friction is higher, so that's why I have to give it more throttle. Okay. We landed safely. Yes. <laughs> it may yes. not have been perfect, but it was nope. safe. Yeah, it's practice okay. run, so yeah. Federal says his simulators are making flight training more accessible and affordable. This Manitoba-made training tool costs one-tenth of the price of buying one from the U.S. Shanalee Vidal, CBC News, Winnipeg.